So what exactly is the best GoPro software? Hey, this is Meredith from vidpromom.com and I set out recently to get to the bottom of that exact question. And what I found out is that GoPro Studio is currently the number one thing that people are using to edit their GoPro videos, which makes sense. It's a free program. It's made by GoPro. It's available for Mac and PC. And it's a really great program for beginners who want to create short fun GoPro videos. I actually created a series in early 2015 on how to get started with GoPro Studio. And GoPro Studio has been updated numerous times since then. So I do have plans to update that content so that it's up to date with the current GoPro software. But other than GoPro Studio, a lot of people are using Apple's Final Cut Pro and Adobe Premiere Pro. And those are two programs that are kind of equal in terms of what they're capable of. They're kind of pro level editing platforms. I use Adobe Premiere Pro to edit all of my blog videos, but either Adobe Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro are great pieces of software if you want to go beyond the GoPro Studio setup. It's really designed for beginners. It's designed to create short, fun videos. So if you're curious what these programs actually will look like, when you open them up and use them, I will show you exactly what you can expect right now. Okay, and so this is what GoPro Studio looks like. This is a brand new project. I haven't done anything to it yet. And I have a whole series uh, that is a getting started guide with GoPro Studio that kind of takes you through beginning to end how the software works um, to get up and running editing your GoPro video. So I'm not gonna go through all of that here but I just wanna show you briefly a little bit what it looks like. So it has step one, step two, step three. So it makes it really easy if you are a beginner, you don't have to wonder where the heck do I start. You start by importing your files. And once you've done that, you can view your files and trim them and clip them. And once you have done that, you add them to your conversion list and then you convert them. And once you have done that, you can pull them into your timeline over here and add titles, you can add music, and then you will be able to preview your video right in this area. You can add special effects and transitions and adjust color and things like that on your right hand side there. And then in step three, you just export, which just means that you save the video so that you can upload it somewhere or save it on your hard drive or do whatever you want with it. Okay, so I just wanna show you real quick what Adobe Premiere Pro looks like when you are editing in it. Um, this is actually, uh, what you're seeing here is my timeline from the actual video that you're watching. So I recorded my intro and my outro and all that stuff. So I have that in here. And then uh, I'll just pop this screencast um, in here and edit that as well. So this is kind of what it looks like. I have all of my files, my video files and my audio over here. And these are just kind of project folders. This is the timeline. Um, this is the, like the video portion of the timeline over here and this is the audio portion on these tracks so like this green track right here is my music track and then this is this is the audio that goes along with my video clips and then um, you know you can overlay all kinds of different um, things uh, like you have different layers here so for example I have this Meredith Marsh Fit Pro Mom this is a layer over top of my video file and uh, over here I have this like title um, this is a title sequence and I have this layer here is the vidpro mom logo over here and so I have some uh, I have some animation kind of happening on that because it starts out starts out uh, a little bit smaller and then it gets bigger and then it fades out. So I just wanna give you a little bit of a peek at what Adobe Premiere Pro looks like. There are a lot, like basically unlimited options as far as um, features and things that you can do with your footage. It's a professional video editing software. So it's not 
Uh, I would not describe it as being intuitive to use. It's something that you have to learn how to use. But once you do learn it, you can create some great videos. I love to use it. It's really simple. I have a really great workflow down. And I highly recommend you checking it out if you want to take the next step to a more professional video editing software. And we can see from Final Cut Pro here that it's kind of a mix of iMovie and Adobe Premiere Pro. Definitely has the professional editing capabilities of Adobe Premiere Pro, but it is a little bit similar to iMovie in just how it's laid out in some of the icons and things like that. So there's the timeline down here and then you have your preview window here so you can see what you're doing. Now I don't own Final Cut Pro, otherwise I'd just pull it right up on my Mac here and show you exactly what was going on. But uh, I don't have it, so I can't show it to you. This gives you a little bit of a peek into what Apple's Final Cut Pro looks like. Some of the other video editing software that has been mentioned for editing GoPro videos is Windows Movie Maker, iMovie, Cyberlink Power Director and Sony Vegas. So if you are trying to figure out what is the best GoPro software for you to use, I would encourage you to try the free trials of all of the software. GoPro Studio is free right out of the gate, but almost all of the other video editing software out there have some sort of a free trial. And I definitely recommend that you do this, not only so that you can kind of get the lay of the land and figure out if this is gonna work for you, but also to make sure that it works on your computer. Video editing is kind of hard on your actual computer itself. So you wanna make sure that the software you're using and the computer you're using are gonna work together to get your video editing done. And I would also just say that the best GoPro software software out there is the one that you have, it's the one that you're using, and it's the one that is allowing you to create awesome GoPro videos and home movies. So don't get too bogged down in what's going to be best. The best one out there is the one that you have that's working for you. So if you would like to get more tips, tricks, tutorials, and how to's from me, I invite you to join the VidPro Mom family. Just head on over to VidPro Mom. Dot com. I send out one or two emails every week and I also answer questions if things pop up and you're having trouble with your editing or your shooting or whatever, you can just shoot me an email. But it's best to get onto my email list so that you know how to contact me. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, what are you waiting for? Just do it. Just hit the button. Just, just do it right now. And this is the free software that GoPo, GoPo. So basically, what am I gonna say? Some of the other editing software that was mentioned, mentioned, and Sony Vegas. Is it Vegas? I better Google it. It is Vegas. It's Vegas. Yeah, that's what I said, right? And obviously I can't create videos for how to use all of that. I would, you know, I would have to quit my job.